Imagine a perfect day. The sun is shining, the skies are clear, and life on Earth continues as usual. But above us, 93 million miles away, something extraordinary and terrifying is unfolding. On the surface of the sun, a magnetic explosion unlike anything we can experience on Earth has just occurred. A massive burst of energy, millions of times more powerful than a nuclear bomb, hurls a wave of charged particles into space, and it's heading directly toward our planet. This isn't science fiction. This is a solar storm, an unpredictable force of nature that has the power to change the world in an instant. For most of us, the sun feels like a constant, a life-giving source of light and warmth. But lurking beneath its brilliance is a force so immense it can disrupt everything. Power grids, satellites, communication systems, even life as we know it. What would happen if this cosmic blast struck tomorrow? Could our technology survive? Could we survive? As we unravel the science, history, and potential future of a massive solar storm, we'll uncover a story that's both awe-inspiring and deeply unsettling. Let's dive into the incredible and sometimes terrifying reality of living in the shadow of the sun. Our story begins with the sun, a massive, glowing ball of plasma at the center of our solar system. It's easy to think of the sun as a gentle giant, steadily providing light and warmth. But beneath its surface lies an ever-changing, volatile world driven by complex magnetic forces. Every so often, these magnetic forces build up enormous tension, creating a dramatic event known as a solar flare or, in some cases, a coronal mass ejection, a CME. Imagine billions of tons of charged particles hurled into space at speeds of up to 3 million miles per hour. These CMEs are like shockwaves in the vast ocean of space, carrying with them the power to affect planets millions of miles away. When a CME is directed toward Earth, it interacts with our planet's magnetic shield, the magnetosphere. Normally, this shield does a great job of deflecting solar wind. But during a massive solar storm, the energy is so intense that our defenses are overwhelmed, allowing charged particles to pour into the atmosphere. This isn't just a beautiful aurora lighting up the night sky. It's the start of a chain reaction that could have far-reaching consequences. But how do we know the sun is capable of such destruction? For that, we turn to the past. Let's travel back to September 1859. The world was on the brink of incredible technological change, but electricity as we know it was still in its infancy. Telegraph systems, the cutting-edge communication technology of the time, were just beginning to connect distant parts of the world. One morning, astronomer Richard Carrington observed something unusual, a sudden, brilliant flash of light erupting from the sun's surface. Within hours, strange phenomena began to occur. Night skies were illuminated by auroras so bright that people could read newspapers outdoors. In the tropics, far from the polar regions, the heavens glowed in vivid hues of green and red. And then chaos. Telegraph systems across the globe began to malfunction. Some operators reported receiving electric shocks from their equipment, while others noticed their machines worked even after being disconnected from power supplies, driven by the immense electromagnetic forces unleashed by the storm. This event, known as the Carrington Event, was a wake-up call. It showed us the sun's immense power. But in 1859, society wasn't dependent on the complex technologies we rely on today. What if something like the Carrington event happened now? The truth is, we might not be ready. Picture this, the year is 2024. A massive coronal mass ejection is detected heading toward Earth, traveling at nearly unimaginable speeds. 
scientists have just 24 hours to issue warnings before the storm arrives. As the CME collides with Earth's magnetic field, the first signs of disruption appear. Satellites in orbit begin to fail. GPS signals become unreliable and communication networks are jammed. Airplanes flying over the poles lose contact with ground control, forcing pilots to divert their routes. On the ground, power grids face an even greater challenge. Transformers, critical components of our energy infrastructure, begin to overheat and fail. Within hours, entire cities plunge into darkness. The cascading effect spreads, leaving millions, even billions, without electricity. Imagine life without power. No lights, no refrigeration, no internet, and no communication. Hospitals struggle to keep life support systems running on limited backup power. Food supplies rot, water systems fail, and panic sets in. And it doesn't end there. With satellites offline, weather forecasting becomes impossible. Supply chains grind to a halt, and emergency services are overwhelmed. In just days, modern life as we know it unravels. This isn't just speculation. A near-miss event occurred in 2012 when a massive CME barely avoided Earth. Scientists estimate that had it struck, the damage could have exceeded $2 trillion, with recovery taking years. The good news is that scientists are keeping a close eye on the Sun observatories like NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory and NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center monitor solar activity 24-7. When a CME is detected, warnings can be issued to power companies, airlines, and satellite operators, giving them time to take protective measures. But here's the bad news. Our infrastructure isn't as resilient as it should be. Power grids in many parts of the world aren't equipped to handle the electromagnetic surges caused by a geomagnetic storm. Satellites, which are crucial for communication and navigation, remain vulnerable to damage despite advancements in technology. And let's not forget, preparation requires global cooperation. Solar storms don't respect borders. A storm that affects one region could have ripple effects across the planet. Are we truly prepared for a global event of this magnitude? The truth is, we still have a lot of work to do. While the risks are real, so are the solutions. Scientists and engineers are working tirelessly to create more resilient power grids and better protect satellites from the effects of solar storms. Hardening critical infrastructure and building redundancy into our systems are key steps toward minimizing the impact. On an individual level, awareness is vital. Knowing the risks and having an emergency plan can make all the difference in a crisis. And as space exploration advances, protecting astronauts and spacecraft from solar radiation will become an even greater priority. The sun may be a source of immense power, but humanity has proven time and again that we can adapt and innovate in the face of challenges. The question isn't whether we can prepare, it's whether we will. The sun is a reminder of both the fragility and resilience of life on Earth. It gives us warmth, light, and energy, but it also holds the potential to test the very limits of human ingenuity. A massive solar storm is one of the most awe-inspiring forces in the universe. It's a phenomenon that shows us just how interconnected we are with the cosmos. But it's also a reminder that, as we gaze toward the stars, we must be vigilant and prepared for the challenges that come with living in the shadow of the sun. So the next time you see the sun shining in the sky, take a moment to appreciate its power not just its beauty, but the responsibility it places on us to be ready for whatever it might bring.